telephone ringing in my head, ringing in my head. This the car, pick up, don't be scared, pick up, don't be scared. You the one that's gonna get this money, go where you was led. This the car, time to get that bread, time to get that yeah. God told me drop the blow, God told me drop them hoes, God told me stop the drink, God told me up my flows, God told me fuck them haters, God told me cop a pole, even though you shout not kill, God said protect my bros, cause out here it's eye for eye, God said protect my soul, first and foremost guard your fam, God said them niggas is bold, if they bounce into your crib, cut they throat down to the bone, God bless me with this talent, now he said pick up the phone, telephone, ringing in my head, ringing in my head, this the car, pick up don't be scared, pick up don't be scared, you the one, that's gonna get this money, go where you was led, this the Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is JCN, man. Coming back at y'all with another one, man. And before I start this video, I just wanna I just wanna say rest in paradise to my brother. I wanna say rest in paradise to my brother, man. Yesterday was his funeral, it was his home going, and it was extremely tough. One of the hardest things to do ever. This was one of the hardest things I ever had to do, and that was say goodbye to my brother, say goodbye to my best friend, you know, say goodbye to somebody that I love with all my heart, say goodbye to somebody that, you know, always had my back and I always had his, even when I was upset with him, I still had his back, no matter what, no matter what, man, so I want to say rest in paradise to my brother, man, rest in heaven, man, all of that, man, because you know, today was extremely tough, just waking up, you know, again, I woke up high anxiety, you know, uh, couldn't go back to sleep, you know, I'm up at four, I was up at four something today, you know, and it's going to be something that's going, you know, I mean, anytime you lose anything, you know, it's, ne it's, it's never a situation where you just going to get over it, you know, this is going to be a struggle for me for the rest of my life, you know, for the rest of my life. But I know I still got to move forward and live on. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what he would want me to do. You know, and I know he, I know he, I know he going to be living in my heart anyways. I know he going to always be with me. And, you know, I'm going to ask him to give me strength, God to give me strength to move forward. And, you know what I mean? Try to stay positive through the storm and these hard times, you know, so. You know, I just want to tell my brother real fast, bro, that I love you, man. I love you. And, uh, man, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure that your name live on, man. You live through me. You're going to live on through me, man. I promise. You know, and I just want to say that real fast, man. I'm still hurting, but I still want to come on here and let y'all know, man, today marks three years of being sober. Today marks my third year of sobriety, and that is a huge milestone. It's a huge milestone because it's something that I that I never thought I'd be able to do. You know, I still have to highlight these things, man, because, you know, one of the reasons why I started this channel is to share my journey with y'all. Not just a semen retention journey, but my life journey. My life journey. So that's through everything. And today marks three years of sobriety. And another another milestone today is that my album, my new album dropped today. And I picked this date because today, July 8th, marks my third year of sobriety. You know what I'm saying? So it's a very special day for me, you know, because not only is it Three, has it been three years since I ever, you know, touched any type of substance or alcoholic beverage? But, you know, you know, today, you know, I released my seventh album. I completed another thing, you know, and that's always that's always something great. And it's worth celebrating anytime you complete something that you start. That's why I always say. If you start something, you make sure you finish it. If you set a date, you know, if you if you say you're going to do something for this amount of days, especially on retention, make sure you reach that goal. 
you know, and if you choose to, you know, release, if you choose to release after that, then okay. But if you know it's benefiting to you, then you know what? Start and set another one. Try to keep pushing, you know, to go longer, depending on your relationship status and all that other stuff, you know, because these benefits is real. These benefits is real. And like I said, man, man, without me going on this journey, man, I don't know how I even had a strength to, you know, to to be even, man, functioning right now with everything that's going on. You know, but it gives me a reason to keep pushing, man. So, yeah, man, three years of sobriety, man. I got, I had to share that with y'all. New album, The Call, is out now by JCN. It's on Spotify, Tidal, Deezer, uh, Apple Music, iHeart, Pandora, all of that on all digital, on all digital markets, man, on all digital music streaming services, man. So, please, if you get a chance, go check some of it out. You know, uh, man, shit, cop the whole album if you want to, man. The whole thing is dope, you know? So, yeah, man, but I don't just, I'm not just here to promote my new album. I'm not just here to, you know, brag and speak on just being three years sober because a lot of people will look at it as bragging. It's not, I'm not, I'm not bragging. I'm telling y'all about this because this is something that I needed. If I didn't do it, then I probably wouldn't hear, I wouldn't be here to speak to y'all right now. I'd probably be dead. And if anybody is embarking on any type of journey, just know that you can do it as well. I had to make that boss move. I had to make that call because it was hurting me. I knew it was hurting me and I knew I couldn't move forward and excel to new heights unless I made a change. And that's what it was all about, making a change, making that grown man decision to stop drinking, to stop doing drugs. And that's why I named my album The Call, because it was a, you know, it was defining moments to where. I felt like it was God looking after me and telling me like, hey, bro, you know what I'm saying? It's time for you to it's time for you to stop this. I got the call. I got the call from God. And I took that call. I picked up. And I knew I had to prove to him. I had to prove to him, not only myself, I had to prove to God that I was ready to take that next step. I know I got a long way to go, but I had to prove to God that I was ready to take that next step in my life instead of being down here doing the same old thing, harming my own temple, harming my own temple. I was, I was done with it. I am done with it in every, in, 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 in every way, shape and fashion, man. Listen, even with the, you know what I'm saying? I had hey, porn, that shit had to go. It had to go still in that in that way. I was harming myself. I'm harming my mind. I'm wasting my seed away. It all goes hand in hand. You got to understand that everything. And, and when you get that call, man, I suggest that you pick up and answer that before it's too late. Before it's too late. But man, all I want to say is that, man, if I could do it, you can do it. If I could do it, you could do it. Start looking into different ways to where you you know, you know what I'm saying? You got to start practicing and doing something, man, to make your, to, to, to better your situation and find other healthy alternatives, man. Because, you know, everybody doing the same thing, like I said before, man, you know, and ain't nobody trying to make any type of changes to their life. Any type, people don't want to make no type of changes, man, but they just, but they want results, and it just don't work out that way. It don't happen that way. You're not going to get any results without any change. If you're doing the same thing, you're going to get the same results. And I want different in my life. So that's why I chose to get sober. That's why I continue to work on myself. That's why I'm embarking on a semen retention journey. That's why I don't fat. Because I got to elevate. I know I got to elevate. And I know I can deep down in my heart. 
You know what I'm saying? So when God reached out to me, man, I had to pick up that car, man. I had to. Because I ain't never had a relationship with God like that. But apparently God had a relationship with me. And I didn't know it. So knowing that he looking out after me, man, listen, I had to, I had to, I had to develop a relationship with God. I had to answer that call. I have to serve him. And I want to. And I will continue to. I will continue to. I have to please him. And I want to. Because he didn't done so much for me. He looked at, he looked out, he looked out for me when I wasn't thinking about him. I wasn't thinking about God. I wasn't thinking about none of that. I was just thinking about myself. I was thinking about my now. I was thinking about my own pleasure. So you got to understand, man. Listen, man. Yo. Sometimes you got to know. You got to know when to make that call. You got to know when to make that boss move. Because when he hit you up. Man, it's either going to go two ways. You either going to pick up that phone, answer that call, and start doing what you need to do. Or you're going to see him in another way. And I don't think you want to see him in the other way. I don't think you want to. Because it can happen. It can happen. So, man, listen. If, if, if anybody out there, man, watching that, listen, man, I just want to tell y'all, man, if, if you can put your mind... To, if you listen, you could do anything you put your mind to. Anything. Three years sober, I used to be out here fucked up. And that's not a good thing. Messed up. And I'm not talking about having fun, just drinking and all that other stuff. I was ruining my body. I've been hospitalized because of this. I have health issues now, currently. Because of what I was doing. So if I can make this change. You can make that change too. Today. I am three years sober. This week. Marked 90 days. On semen retention. This week. I lost my brother. Hurt me to the core. Hurt me to the core. This week, today, my new album drops. It is out. Jason, the call. And it's bittersweet. And no matter what, no matter what, I'm going to keep pushing. I got to. For my brother Antonio L. Wells, man. So with all of this that I'm going through. All of this that I'm going through. Listen. Not a leaf far from a tree. Without the permission from God. So understand that. Everything that's happening right now. Whether, whether I want to believe it or not. It's, you know, it happened for a reason. Everything is happening for a reason. Everything, everything is happening for a reason. And I can't sit here and act like I know what that reason is. But as long as I continue on this path, I will get to the bottom of it. And then I'll be saying to myself, so that was the damn point. But all I know is that I got to keep putting my right foot in front of my left. And keep going. So I just wanted to talk to y'all. Holler at y'all man. Let y'all know what is going on with me now man. And this is where I'm at today. And if I could get to this point. As, 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 as hurt as I am. You know at the same time. I still have a reason to keep going. I still have milestones that I'm hitting. And I'm still working on myself. Man, if you haven't started working on yourself, please start. Because tomorrow ain't promised. Alright? My name is Jay Sin. It's Sin Take. Again, rest in peace to my brother. Again, go cop my new album out today. Again, 
You can do anything you put your mind to, all right? Peace. Hustle hard, yeah, that's all day. All day I'ma keep putting in work, yeah, that's all day. Uh, I'm in here to do my job, yeah, that's all day. That's all day. What I do all ain't day. a facade, this is all J. Hustle hard, yeah, that's all day. I'ma keep putting in work, yeah, that's all day. I'm in here to